I wanted to try something different today. I don't feel like sitting in here for four hours, so I'm gonna try something new. I'm calling it two minute tip. One thing in under two minutes, if possible, probably not. So there'll be no intro and body and conclusion. No, let's try change the world. Well, maybe a little bit of let's change the world. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the BMS monitoring variable speed drives, specifically the stairwell pressurization fans, variable speed drives. So what we normally do is all around the world in very big buildings in big cities, we have a lot of variable speed drives and the BMS monitors all of them, like easily more than a 100 variable speed drives in a 30 story commercial office, could be 200, 300 in big hospitals. So when I'm reviewing the BMS design, I'm reading through the, the BMS company submission and I go through the chill water system, the hot water system, cooling towers, air handling units, miscellaneous fans, car park exhaust systems. There's always a section called stairwell pressurization fans. And the BMS company, or you guys, you always write the same thing and you say, the BMS only monitors the stairwell pressurization fans. The BMS does not start or stop or control the speed of these fans. Because how it works in Australia is we'll have our, you know, our stairwells and at the top there's a, a fan and obviously pressurize the stairwell so that people can escape the building and there's no smoke in there. So it's a life safety system. Next to the VSD, there's normally you know, a fire interface relay or a fire interface module. When the fire alarm goes off and they want to pressurize the stairwells, the fire interface goes click it's wired directly into digital input one of the variable speed drive. It becomes enabled. And then we always have a pressure transmitter that's measuring the pressure in the stairwell. And it's wired directly into the variable speed drives and log input one. And there's an internal PRD loop with a pressure set point. So the BMS has nothing to do with the control of stairwell pressurization. In Australia, the BMS is not permitted to have anything to do with the fire alarm mode or the smoke control system. So that's fine. And because the BMS monitors every single variable speed drive, whether it's a fan or a pump, no matter what it is, we network to it and we always monitor the exact same points. So for chillers and boilers and AHUs and things, we monitor points something like kilowatts, kilowatt hours, you know, current, speed, frequency. There's those sort of points, always the same points. And when we get to our design, for the monitoring of you know fire fans you know smoke spill fans as well we always do the exact same thing we just copy and paste that exact same table into there when we're monitoring those five points but it would make a big difference and be very valuable if when you integrate it to these fire fans these stair pressurization unit fans the vsd you also mapped through the pressure and the pressure set point and maybe the digital input that says fan requested to run. So now when we're doing, when the facility manager and the fire contractors are doing their annual full function fire test and they open the graphics, they can see there, there's all their stairwell pressurization fans. Yes, they're running. There's the speed, you know, it's the kilowatts. And they can also see the actual pressure in the stairwells, 50 pascals or whatever it is and the pressure set point. That would be very useful and interesting for them at their once a year full function fire test. It'd also be useful in new construction projects where we're rushing to try and get our certificate of occupancy and we need to prove the fire system to have those pressure in the grip would be really great. So this is another one of those examples where we do something, you know, we integrate to the VSD like the other 99 VSDs, but we just don't quite go that step far enough to actually provide real value. We just stop short of doing something really awesome. So from tomorrow, BMS engineers, change your default design in your descriptive operations or your function description or your control sequence, whatever you call it, phone your boss, speak to him, let's change the table, let's add in there the pressure, the pressure set point and the request to run. Very easy to do that cost you nothing you there already you ran, you ran the cable there already mechanical consultants in your base specifications add a section on that just 
the most of you already have a table in there with some VST points. Just add in those extra points, little asterisks for fire controlled fans, whatever it is. It's not gonna be hard to do that. Please see in the description below, there are some major changes to our training courses next year. All live courses will be recorded and made available to people outside of the Australia, New Zealand time zones. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.